Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share this DIY with you today just because it was inexpensive to do and is so easy to do. And I'm realizing that as I'm saying that, that's what I say about every single DIY that I've shown you on this channel. I definitely feel like it's beginner level DIY. I feel like it is stuff that everyone can do. So comment below and let me know after each DIY video if that's how you feel. I definitely don't feel that I I'm an advanced DIY person at all, at least not compared to what's out there in the world of DIY. There are some that I've seen that I'm like, that isn't a do it yourself really, because some of these things take more than one person to do. If I have to make a trip to Home Depot, that's not a DIY in my opinion, but that's just me. So I really do hope that the uh, things that I'm sharing with you really are beginner level and easy for everyone to do. So comment below and let me know if that's how you feel about it as well. So it is plaid week and it's plaid week day four. Now I did take a day off from plaid week yesterday and I shared my Christmas decor Hobby Lobby haul with you guys. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out because I am going to be doing my Christmas decor collection video here in a couple of weeks. And that way when you see it, you'll know exactly where I got all of my items from. Let's do a little recap. So plaid day one, my very first out the door Christmas decor DIY. I feel like I kind of started off with a bang just because this is probably one of my favorites so far. This is the Dollar Tree um, Christmas decor project. It is up on my channel if you want to go check it out. I will link it down in the description box below. I also have a quick link for all of my Christmas playlists and my hauls as well. So if you just want to find out where all of my Christmas DIYs are, I have a playlist put together for you and the hauls as well. And let's see, plaid day two, I did my first ever Christmas countdown and I used this Dollar Tree tray. So if you wanna go check out that video, also link down below. I've never had a countdown before, so I'm super excited. I have not started yet, but this is where my number will go and this is where my plaid came in from. Now, plaid day three, I don't have it to show you just because I haven't technically done it yet. It is using plaid ribbon to sort of wrap my cabinet doors with, but I will link that in the description box below as well for you to go and check out. So now, without further ado, let's talk about plaid day four. This is, oh my gosh, I absolutely adore this. I'm gonna give you a minute. I'm gonna give you a minute to accept this. I wanna call this one specifically Dollar Tree, but I can't just because it's like half and half. Two of the items were from Dollar Tree and two of the items were from Hobby Lobby. So this is kind of a half and half, Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. And then this one is pretty much full on Dollar Tree except for the sticker. I will still insert the actual video footage of me putting this together, but it was so incredibly easy to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you verbally, and then if you decide you still wanna watch the footage, I will attach it to the end of this video. But simply, I just took off the lid. This is from the Dollar Tree. I have hauled this in my past Dollar Tree hauls, and I picked up some fake snow from the Dollar Tree as well. Be very, very careful when you're using this because it can go everywhere. And I didn't put that much in here. It really did not need a lot. And then I secured the lid back on. I simply applied this Dear Silhouette sticker to the outside, which I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And then I tied it off with some plaid ribbon. That is it. Okay, for the second uh, ornament, the reason why it's looking a little America here is not because I'm going for the American colors, but my daughter's school colors are actually red, white, and blue. And I figured this would be a really cute gift for her to give to her cheer friends that are all in the same squad. Um, this is, these are the colors of their uniform. And I simply took some pom-poms that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I sorted out and picked out the ones that were red, white, and blue. And the insert here is just big enough for you to put these pom-poms in here so it's actually perfect. Then I scrambled through my scrapbooking supplies and found some red lettering and I picked out 2019. This is the year she graduates but you could do anything here. You could do you know the current year, you could say freshman, you could say varsity, whatever, whatever fits you. If it's a soccer team, if 
it's the person's name. It doesn't even have to be sports related, but if you do have someone in sports, you could just add their color of pom-poms in here. If you can't find pom-poms at Dollar Tree, don't worry. Your local craft store has these and they're not expensive at all. I wouldn't be surprised if they were the same price as Dollar Tree. So you can get a really big bag of these pom-poms at the craft store. And this is a ribbon that I hauled from Dollar Tree and I simply just kind of looped it through here and tied this bow like you would a shoelace. Nothing simple, just like you're tying your shoes. I will say that in this instance, because it was a little red, white, and blue, what I tried to do was not add as much white to the uh, inside of this ornament. I did not want the colors to be equal because then it really would have been too 4th of July for me. So I added mostly blue, a little bit of red, and then very little of the white. So if you have kind of the same problem, then just try not to add so much or equal of all the same colors. So just to sh share with you the actual pom-poms that I bought from the Dollar Tree, here is an extra bag that I haven't used yet. I'm going to make more of these for my daughter's friends. And as you can see, all the colors that you kind of get in here. Afterwards, I was basically left over with orange, yellow, and black. And they also have out the Christmas ones as well. So if you don't want to do like a specific color related and you want to do more of a Christmas theme, they do have the red, white, and or the red, white, and green. However, take into consideration the same concept that I applied here. You don't want to add equal parts of the red, white, and green because then it would be too um, Mexico flag, it would be too Italian flag. So I would definitely try to add more of the red, the green, and then a little bit of white. I have these at the Dollar Tree and you could just take red ribbon or some sort of decorative ribbon from the Dollar Tree and you have yourself a really cute ornament. That's what I love so much about these ornaments is I feel like, I don't know why, but I feel so incredibly proud. It's just always a shocker for me to make things that looks like they just come from the store. I don't know, I feel like this one looks like it could come from a store. It's just so incredibly pretty and I can't wait to add this to my tree decor. I do have to make a couple more of these, but I just made one for the purpose of this video. And this one is super amazing too because it's a gift and I love doing cute little things like this. So lots of ideas for gifts related here. You could put anything inside of it that you can think of uh, comment down below what you would put inside of this ornament and what you would do with this and I really do hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Another idea is actually to take an empty ornament from the Dollar Tree, which by the way, if you can't find these at the Dollar Tree or you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, that's okay. They sell these plastic ones at a local craft store and Walmart as well. And by the way, I was at Walmart the other day and they were 98 cents, so cheaper than a Dollar Tree, um, which comes in handy if you're buying in bulk. So another really cute idea with which I wish I could do, but for this specific instance I can't, is adding your child's Christmas wish list to the inside. You just wanna roll it up and stick it in here and then you can just add the year for whatever year they made the list and each year you can keep doing this and adding this to your tree. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I really wish I could do that but this piece of paper is just a little bit too big to add in there. I did try folding it and then trying to roll it up like this but maybe I'll try again later but I really didn't want to ruin too much of this so, but if you do have um, something like that, you can also have your child just make like a smaller version of their list and have them write it out with their little handwriting and then you can put it in here just for an ornament purpose and then they can just do their real list and give it to you later. So if you wanna see exactly how I put this together, then keep watching. Thank you so much for watching all of my videos and I'll see you tomorrow in my next day of Plaid Week. Bye.